let us consider this problem this is a, a solved problem in Arthur Baser example 5 6 um, <coughs> let's go okay uh, see uh, electrons electrons with uh, electrons with energies uh, 1 electron volt and 2 electron volt are incident on a barrier 10 electron volt high and 0.5 nanometer wide okay so <clears throat> the energies uh, there are two kinds of electron beams one with energies 1 electron volt and the other with energies 2 electron volt they are incident on a barrier height of the barrier is 10 electron volt and its width is 0.5 nanometer okay okay first uh, question is uh, find the respective transmission probabilities okay find their respective transmission probability so we, we need to calculate the transmission probability for one electron volt electron and two electron volt electron so from this uh, we will see when we do this a part we will see how the transmission probability changes changes with uh, the energy of the incident particle we know that transmission probability should decrease with the energy of the incident particle okay uh, sorry transmission probability should increase with the energy of the incident particle when an energy of the incident particle increases um, there is more probability for the particles to cross the potential barrier okay and what is the b part it is how are these affected if the barrier is doubled in width what happens uh, to these two beams uh, the transmission probability of these two beams when the width of the barrier is doubled from 0.5 nanometer to 1 nanometer so if you do the b part we will get uh, to see how the transmission probability decreases with width okay so maybe if you take one electron volt beam uh, and if you double the width uh, when we do this b part let us see how the transmission probability decreases we know that when the width increases transmission probability should decrease so how much similarly uh, in the a part we will see we will compare one electron volt and two electron volt beams then then we will understand how the transmission probability increases with increasing kinetic energy okay we can guess the answer uh, the increase in transmission probability with increase in kinetic energy will be uh, not as much as uh, the decrease in transmission probability with uh, the doubling the width Okay, here we are doubling the energy from one electron volt to two electron volt we are doubling the energy when we double the energy of the incident beam there is an increase in transition probability but its extent is not as much as the extent of decrease of the transmission probability when the barrier width is doubled what is the reason because uh, the barrier width, width directly appears in the expression for transmission probability uh, it is uh, e raised to minus 2 k 2 l it directly appears in the exponential in the, in the negative exponential whereas the energy of the incident particle appears within a square root in the expression for k 2 that is the reason so let us do this problem so uh, the first part uh, let us say a so we will first kind of consider uh, one electron volt b Okay. then we will look at two electron volt beam a little later so what is the expression for transmission probability we, this is an approximate expression remember e raised to minus 2 k 2 l okay uh, l is given l is 0.5 nanometer so we want to convert this into si unit 0 0.5 into 1 nanometer is 10 raised to minus 10 raised to minus 9 meter then uh, mainly we want to evaluate this quantity k2 so what is k2 square root of 2 m by h cross square into u minus e okay where uh, m is so this is square root of uh, 2 okay let us uh, use some simplified form of this one uh, we know uh, m is the mass of the electron but um, okay <clears throat> we can uh, we know the rest energy of the electron so let us multiply numerator and denominator with a c square so de denominator we have h cross square c square which i can write as h cross c whole square okay then u minus e okay so um, this is square root of 
2 into what is mc square rest energy of the electron beam 0.511 mev okay then u minus c what is uh, u u is uh, 10 electron volt so here we can write u is height of the barrier 10 electron volt and e first you are considering one electron volt beam so it is one electron volt so this is an electron volt okay remember it's an electron volt so u minus e is 9 electron volt so i am putting the units in brackets to avoid confusion uh, okay h cross c square is uh, inside the square root so we can take it outside okay um, so we can there is no need to put it in the denominator so into 1 by h cross c what is the value of h cross c uh, HC is we know um, HC is 1240 uh, electron volt nanometer in terms of uh, electron volt so H cross C is uh, 197 approximately 197 electron volt nanometer 1240 divided by um, 2 pi right so let, let us check for zero two times three point one four right okay we want to calculate this whole thing One ninety seven point four five. Okay, this much MeV for me or electron volt nanometer. So I have, I have taken one ninety seven. Uh, May if you want more accuracy, you can put one ninety seven point four five. Okay, so one ninety seven electron volt nanometer will be sufficient. <coughs> uh, so let us substitute uh, value here. So we can approximately uh, calculate this thing. Um, so let us approximately do the calculation. Uh, so uh, here we have electron volt. Uh, so here we have mega electron volt. So we need to substitute uh, 10 raised to 6 electron volt here. Okay. So 2 into 0.5 is 1. Square root of, uh, so we have in the square root we have 9 and then there is 10 raised to 6. So it is approximately 3 into square root of 9 is 3 square root of 10 raised to 6 is 10 raised to 3 this much electron volt because there is an electron volt here 10 raised to 6 electron volt we have put here and there is an electron volt here so there is electron volt square so square root is this much electron volt divided by h cross c is 197 electron volt nanometer okay so this is 3000 divided by 197 Okay, uh, if you take this as approximately 200, 3000 by 200, uh, which is um, 30 by 2, so approximately uh, 15 nanometer raised to minus 1. Okay, so this is approximately uh, 15 nanometer raised to minus 1, which is 15 into 10 raised to 9 meter raised to minus 1. Okay, nanometer is 10 raised to minus 9 meter. So when it comes to the numerator, 10 raised to 9 meter raised to minus 1. So the exact result in the textbook is uh, instead of 1.6, 1.6 into 10 raised to 10. So more accurate calculation gives you 16 into 10 raised to 9 or 1.6 into 10 raised to 10. So without any calculator, we can do this. Uh, we can get an approximate value here. So you can do the exact calculation. I have just uh, done an approximate calculation here. Hmm? Anyway, the value of H cross C is fine, 197. Um, maybe um, this part we can do more exactly. 3000 by 197. Is there any change? 3000 divided by 197. Yeah, fifteen point two two eight. So 
so it is uh, yeah it's fine it's approximately 1.6 newton western maybe you can substitute the values and you can check uh, the whether the value given the text is correct or i think this is more closer 15 to 10 raised to 9 is more closer uh, it's closer to the result okay anyway so we have got k2 and we have got l so what is the transmission probability so transmission probability is uh, approximately e raised to minus 2 into so k2 value let me take the value given in the textbook okay which you have to check so 1.6 into 10 raised to 10 into and what is l 0.5 nanometer right yeah 0.5 nanometer so it is uh, 0 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 9 okay this is a uh, 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 9 is 5 into 10 raised to minus 10. 10 raised to 10 and 10 raised to minus 10 will cancel. 2 into 5 is 10. So we have e raised to minus 16. Okay. Its value is uh, 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 7. So the transmission probability is very small. Okay. 10 raised to 1 divided by 10 raised to 7. Okay, 10 raised to 7 is um, 10 lakhs, right? Or 1 crore. It's 1 crore, okay? So, um, out of 1 crore particle, so this is a 1.5. Uh, yeah, 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 7 means 1 divided by 10 raised to 7. So, if 1 crore particles are incident uh, on the barrier, one particle will get through. So, the transmission probability is very small. Okay. So, now let us uh, repeat this calculation for 2 electron volt beam. Okay. So what will change? The value of K2 will change. Okay, instead of 1 here, you have 2. So 10 minus 1, 9. Instead of that, you have, uh, what is that? 10 minus 2, 8. 8 electron volt will come here. So the value of K2 will be different. So um, you can do this calculation. The new value of uh, K2 will be value the result is not given the text i will directly write down the expression for uh, uh, transmission probability so for two electron volt beam transmission probability is maybe this i can write as t1 for one electron volt beam t2 is uh, 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 7. So there is an increase in transmission probability. Here um, in T, the, when the energy is 1 electron volt, 1 out of 10 raised to 7 electron will reach the, um, will cross the barrier. That is 1 out of 10, uh, 1 crore electrons. Here it is slightly increased. 2 out of 1 crore electrons will cross the barrier. 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 7. Okay, there is a uh, doubling of the there is a slight increase in the um, transmission probability okay so let us now go to the b part okay so part b what is part b what happens to t1 and t2 when the barrier width is doubled right what happens to uh, this uh, one electron volt beam transmission probability of one electron volt beam and two electron volt beam when the barrier width is doubled so in b what is the situation l is uh, doubled that is one into 10 raised to minus nine meter so instead of 0.5 nanometer it is one nanometer so again you repeat this calculation t1 becomes t1 prime which is 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 16 
sorry, 10 raised to minus 14. Ten raised to minus fourteen. We know that when the width increases, transmission probability will decrease. But see the amount of decrease. Okay. Um, earlier, what was the value of T one? We have it here. T one was uh, one point one into ten raised to minus seven. One out of one crore. One out of ten raised to seven electron electrons uh, get through the barrier when the high the width was point five nanometer. But what is the situation now? Only 1 out of 10 raised to 14 electrons will get through the barrier when the barrier width is doubled. This shows that the most uh, powerful factor that influences transmission probability is uh, the width of the barrier. Similarly, uh, T2 prime. These calculations you should do yourself. T2 prime will be 5 into 5.1 into 10 raised to minus 14. See, when the energy increases from 1 electron volt to 2 electron volt, electron volt uh, the transmission probability, the power factor, the, ten, the, the order of transmission probability remains same. Earlier it was 10 raised to minus 7, now it is 10 raised to minus 14. The increase in transmission probability does not, is not much significant. But when the width is doubled, the decrease in transmission probability is very drastic. So, this is why we say that out of the four factors that influences transmission probability, the most important factor is the width of the barrier. If it increases, transmission probability decreases as in this problem. If it decreases, transmission probability will drastically increase. Okay.